I'm Monica Ricks. More than a month after Hamas attacked Israel, the Israeli military says the terror group has lost control of northern Gaza. It comes as Israel surrounds the Strip and ramps up its attacks on Hamas targets. CBS's Charlie Daggett has the latest now from Tel Aviv. That's when explosions and shots rang out. We were told Hamas militants had opened fire on troops with gunfire and an RPG. Southwest of here, Israeli forces have begun penetrating Gaza City itself. Late leaders around the world are still pushing for a humanitarian pause in the fighting to get more aid and medical supplies to Palestinians. Ivanka Trump's the fourth and final member now of the Trump family on the stand in New York in a civil trial that's accused the family of widespread fraud. CBS's Michael George is in court. On the witness stand this morning, Ivanka Trump said she focused on redeveloping the Doral Golf Course in Florida and the old post office property in Washington when she served as a top executive at the company. She said she was generally familiar with accounting practices, but was not a specialist. Huge wins for Democrats last night in Ohio. Abortion access is the law of the land in Ohio. CBS's Jerika Duncan is there. This is definitely a litmus test for the Republican Party, which at least here in Ohio was very adamant in terms of where they stand, and they wanted to vote down uh, this measure. When I spoke to the ACLU executive for Ohio, he said that without a doubt, this is a flashpoint. People will be paying attention in terms of what to do next. Residents are staying inside in San Jacinto County, Texas right now, where firefighters are working to contain an explosion at a chemical plant. This woman lives nearby. We've seen all the explosions, all the dark smoke. Then we heard words of stay indoors. The things are very toxic to inhale. It's still unclear what caused it, but at least one employee there was injured. The FDA just gave Eli Lilly the green light to start marketing a new weight loss drug that'll rival popular shots like Ozempic. Zepbound should be available by the end of the year, according to Eli Lilly, and might be priced cheaper than its competitors from Novo Nordisk, which are branded as Ozempic and Wagovi. There's also some research to suggest that Eli Lilly's drug might be more effective than Novo Nordisk's drug, though full head-to-head -head studies haven't been published. That's reporter Alexander Tin. Paging Patrick Dempsey. <laughs> just crowned the Grey's Anatomy star sexiest man alive. He talked to Jimmy Kimmel about it last night. What took them so long is the I, only question I have. I don't know. I'm just happy they made a decision and that was me this year. Well, Dempsey replaces Captain America star Chris Evans, who won it last year. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody. It's 68 degrees outside.